Welcome back to Pathologic 2. We've done almost everything I can do at the moment. There's no markers left on the map except for this one here to go speak with Simon, not Simon. I always say Simon. Victor, Kine. Simon is dead. Um, I don't know if I really need to do that. I feel like those optional, the things that get marked when you drink Twyrine and say the town is calling me, I feel like those give me more information about the people, but I don't feel like they've ever done any quest-related stuff. And, of course, I had this conversation in my last playthrough, so that's probably not important to go to, but I'm going to go to it anyway, just to be safe. And, uh, well, I've got three hours until midnight, in which case, uh, or at what time, rather, I want to be at the theater and then go to the dead item shop, etc., etc., so I'm going to want to be out here anyway. My stats are good. I have a good amount of tinctures. Really, I don't need to do anything in particular. However, I am lacking clothes. I don't have a cape or a, a mask of any sort. So let's meander on over to Victor's place. Looking for people to womp on the back of the head to get some more money and stuff. And also looking for clothes. I think I'll stop at this clothes store. Probably make my way down and then go to this one as well. That sounds good to me. Uh, hold on a second. I just uh, reloaded my save game from when I was inside of Yulia's place because I realized that just looking at the map, I feel like there might be a cache at this point here. That feels like an appropriate place for a cache. So I was looking for a way to get back here and realized that there's a solid fence all along here. You can't get through this way. So I just had to load my save game inside of here to see if I can go out the back door of Yulia's place. And that's when I found the bachelor. Can I leave? Oh, I can leave that way. So I can get out the back. I've never been back there. Your behavior is ridiculous. Stop playing <clears throat> detective and start tending to the sick. Oh, their dialogue here is kind of cute. Hey, I don't know what to do. I'm at a loss. They're so much less of an asshole now that they've kind of been brought down a peg or two. Me too. Do you know what the Inquisition is? I've heard about it. I carry this cross willingly. I found myself in your damn town by accident. When hell broke loose, I tried. I tried to fight this wretched plague. I took responsibility. I did everything I should have. Do you understand? You've done a lot. The Inquisitor will take the one who bends reality. They'll twist them, break them. The person responsible won't even understand how they decided to put a bullet in their own head. That's their method. Do you consider yourself yourself free, Bura? Yes. I don't know where this girl came from, but their inquisition is up next. Our current situation is exactly the kind they're tailored to solve. Have you ever considered angels, Bura? How do you imagine them? I don't imagine them. They don't exist. An angel is a nightmare. Their purpose is to instill primal, oppressive horror. I think if angels existed, they'd resemble a divine pillar of light, from the heavens to the earth, devoid of anything remotely human. But Inquisitors are people. Yes, I've never been here before. Oh, that's a really cool little room. I guess you can kind of call it an indoor porch. Not really. I don't know what that'd be called. I'm not fancy enough to have anything like that in my house. I mean, I don't even have a house. I have an apartment. <laughs> what am I, some rich asshole? You don't have to be rich to have a house. But you're probably doing better than somebody with an apartment if you do. really feel like a cache would be here. Hmm. 
Seems I was wrong. It's interesting that I can come back there even though there's nothing there. I feel like there must be a reason. I mean, not necessarily. But maybe something does happen back there at some point. Oh, is that a bad dude? No. They would have attacked the kid? No, you're not a bad dude. Sorry. I found a bad dude. Oh, no, no, don't womp. Save the womp. Wait, you're not a bad dude either. Man, sorry, but those dudes just look like bad boys. Okay, this is a bad dude because this is one of those formerly infected districts. just got marked. Oh, it's the meeting with Murky and... Oh, fuck. Not looking forward to that. Got a bad boy or two here. Are you a bad boy? No, uh, I'm not sure if that's a... Oh, that is. Oh, fuck. Running after the other person there. Uh, I'm a little bit hurt. Let's take a bandage. Is there any point in checking up on Laura? I th Are you coming for me? <laughs> Fuck. God, they're so fast. There's probably no point in checking up on Lara, because I don't think anything has changed, and probably won't change until tomorrow, but... Eh, just in case. Have you set up more beds? I, I don't... I think the last time we checked here was technically today, I think. Yeah, there's nothing to talk about. Holy shit, look at this fight over here. Is that three against one? Three bad boys? Against one good dude? Um... Yeah, Alright, I'm out of here. <laughs> Let's go to the clothes store. Let's go clothes shopping to avoid the mob of bad boys. Red thread, I'll take all of that. And a repellent cloak, excellent. Is there much of a point in taking the sewing box? I mean, it wouldn't hurt. Yeah. Yeah, I'll free up the space for it. Alright, what's the situation look like out here? Where did most of them go? Oh, you're scared. I see. They seem to have dispersed. Another bad boy. Come over here. Pocket watch. That's worth so much. I drank a twirine and it pointed me to here. This must be a cache, and I haven't gotten it before. Not marked on my map. I hope it's up here, and I hope those people don't slowly walk up here to try to touch me. Ooh, this one's precarious. Modest note. Chapter 2, said Woodpecker. You're too late. That's one thing I truly hate. 
that's one thing I truly hate? Isn't that... That sounds awfully a lot like something Mark Immortel said. Mmm... A walnut? Let's put in a walnut. Let's not sprint down this. If I fall, I'm gonna die. We got an ashen-faced asshole here who burns people. Wow, they don't even attack me. Yeah, don't gain or lose anything from killing them. I mean, all they do is burn people to death, so I don't exactly feel bad about killing them. <laughs> uh, my immunity is zero. That's a problem. Natural plus. Ooh, death has its eyes on me? Hmm. I'll be out of the infected zone in just a minute. Let's check out another clothes store. Do you have a mask? Damn, they don't. Man, these boots are just about to break. A sewing box. I suppose I should buy another one of that as well. I think I need a couple more of those, plus probably another repellent cloak if I want to upgrade my inventory yet again. Oh, actually, no. The next tier, I think, requires the army cloak, not the repellent cloak. They also have a toolkit. Uh, let's sell them the pocket watch. Do I have room for all that? I mean, yeah, I do. All right, I'll take the toolkit and a sewing box. God damn, I love having a big inventory and lots of money. I also only have one match. I don't know. It's probably a waste of money, but I want to have a couple. Because sometimes you just need to disperse a cloud of plague. Oh, a uh, safety pin. Let's buy that too. The day is over. A crucial encounter will happen in the step this night. The page is about to turn. All business deemed important needs to be finished before dawn. Okay. Before dawn. Alright. How are people doing? Yes. Come on, Katarina. You're good. Come on, Peter. Mm. Ooh, that was close. Okay. Nobody is infected. The day is over. That feels fantastic. Oh, right. The railroad, too, and meeting Murky. Oh, man, we have a lot to do. Uh, let's get to it. I'm gonna speak with Victor. The end draws ever closer. A new pantomime is rehearsed at the theater. Holy shit. This is a mob of four bad boys. Goodbye. That's terrifying. You can ride a horse to battle, but you can't make it sergeant. <laughs> Do you know what our cathedral is for? Tell me. It produces time. Ah, right. We know all about this. I'm gonna skip the theater for now, just because I, I want to make super sure that I can get this railroad thing done and the murky thing done. So I took the boat from here to here. Not very far to take the boat, to be honest. I don't know if it was worth it, but whatever. And there's also two caches here that I haven't been to yet. One up here and one behind the station. So first one up here. Mm, safety pin, match, walnuts. Let's see if a match. I think we got a bad boy here. There he is. Holy shit! I just want to pause. What we are witnessing is a guard 
fighting with a one or two bad boys. I think one. Well, two bad boys, one with a knife, chases a little girl. I got your back, little girl. I can't help you with the other one, though. You're too far away. I can help you. With you. Oh, I think they were scared for a second because of all the fighting. Holy shit! There's a dead kitty here. How did you die? I, I just, on the way to the station, came across the nutshell, and there's a fucking dead kid here. So there should be a cache back here behind the station. Um, did I miss it? I haven't marked over here. Where is it? Maybe I marked it a little bit wrong. I'm certain there was a cache somewhere behind the station, though. Is it not there? Can caches... Can caches not be at a place always? I assumed all the caches were static. Almost to where bad grief should be to blow up the railroad, although I don't see them. Oh wait, I see a fire. Did you start a fire to keep warm, bad grief? But I thought they also mentioned, like, going off the map, you know? So I feel like I need to go further. Yeah, I think they're sitting down by the fire. Well, they're certainly staying warm. That's a bonfire. It's huge. Prophylaxis? Oh, it's after midnight, so I guess... Well, I guess that's a little bit of a spoiler that this zone must be infected. Although, I thought you couldn't give prophylaxis to people that weren't at home. That's how it's always been. But now I can? Alright. I won't complain. You finally came. I'm freezing my ass off here. Even with this fire? What's with the fire? For a second, I thought you'd started without me. A fire. A signal fire, cub. Used to summon. Summon who? Bos Taroch? No, cub. Bos Taroch is just a step folk tale. Me, I'm simple. An ordinary man. And my goals, unlike yours, are ordinary too. Well, I doubt you're trying to summon the Inquisitor. Use your head, artillery man. Of course we're not blowing anything up. This railroad is my bread and butter, my veins, hell, my carotid arteries. Blowing things up? It doesn't matter. The Inquisitor will come, they'll instill order, fix you terrorists. Are you stupid, Grief? You'll be the first person they hang. They're a smart bunch, or so I've heard. Explains the unique status. And smart folk tend to stick together. Help each other climb the ladder, even. It's you who should worry about getting hanged, idiot. Dynamite. Yeah, it felt too easy, huh? Alright, forget it. Let's just watch the fire. Damn, Jerbo's jumping on top of the fire. Be careful. We're not blowing anything up. Grief says he never planned to. All we have is hope. <laughs> Great. <sighs> well, let's go meet Murky's friend. I have an idea. 
for what to do here. It probably won't work. But anyway, I have an idea. Hmm. I'm gonna collect these just so they're not making super loud noises during dialogue. Swish. Remember how... I think it's the changeling ends up talking to us and talking about how Murky's on her way. And I was thinking, what are you talking about? I just spoke with Murky. Murky's already here. Or just was here or something. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how that went down, but somebody suggested maybe this Murky that I'm about to speak with isn't actually Murky. Maybe this is the changeling. The plague bringer is here, walking around. She's almost, almost here. She, she just won't come out for some reason. I need to go. Call her, I guess. Is this Murky's friend? There's another little girl hiding inside you, isn't there? No, not a girl. Not one. Not inside. Then what is it? I'm picking a family for myself. I think I'm going to be together with my friend. We'll be sisters. Or maybe she can even be my mommy. And I don't have any reason to like you. You're never even home. I'll try to be home more often. Go home, little one. I don't like that new friend of yours. Why? She's dangerous. I think I know what she really is. I just wanted, I wanted to show you that she's not really evil at all. I wanted to take her by the hand and bring her to you. She can't just get close to you like that if she's not with me. But if she's with me, she can. Why can't she get close to me? You should go hide behind those rocks and wait. Just keep looking at me. I'll wait for her, sort of like a lure. She'll come to the fire when she thinks I'm alone. Then you'll see I'm not making her up. Allure? That's right. You know she's not your friend. You don't know that. <sighs> There's nothing to know here. Just trust me. Yeah, before I remember I waited behind the rocks and stared at them. For a little while. And then nothing happened, only to find that Clara, or the Changeling, whichever one that is, has just been here the whole time, so... You don't actually have to wait... Right, which one are you, Clara? Expecting a train carrying medicine and doctors. Fools. They honestly think a train can fix this. Like hell it'll come. What do you want, Bura? Why are you here? Go do your job, Tinkerer. Have you already avenged your father? Come into your inheritance? Saved everyone on the list? Visited the kin? Have you made a cure? Actually, I have made a cure. <laughs> That's what I thought. If the plague has a form, it must resemble you. Are you dense? You idiot, I'm keeping Murky from the plague. Do you understand? I'm doing it because you can't even watch over one child. Is that the reason Murky seems to be the only one that we know of? That can speak with the sand pest and yet not be infected by it? Is Clara actually saving Murky from the changeling? Slash the sand pest? I don't know how that works. I think the plague has been talking to her for the last few days. I thought you were a grown man, Burah. Do you honestly come to believe the disease has a mind, a goal, some agenda? That it walks on clay legs and talks to Murky? That it'll come here to tell you something? Yes. That's about it. And something with a will and an agenda can be bargained with, like Mistress Sandplague. 
That was your silly hope, was it? Who are you? Tell me. Ah, back to square one. You think I'm some kind of avatar for the plague? What's wrong with you? Are you still a child? God, I hate Clara. No, I'm doing what an adult must, trying to get to the bottom of all this. That's what makes the plague so terrible, you fool. You can't reason with it. There's no method behind it, no mind, no negotiation. There's only death. And if it has a voice, it's yours, your own voice. Yeah, you're a shapeshifter after all. I just feel it. Someone wears you like a glove. You don't believe me. You don't want to. Fine. Be my guest. Check. You want an easy answer, don't you? You want a monster you can drive a stake into or bargain with. That'd be so heroic, wouldn't it? It's so much simpler than the hard work of discovering a cure. I've already discovered a cure. Hanging the cure over my head, you think I've made no progress? Work, Bura. Forget this child's play. Step miracles, childhood mysteries, leave them to me. Step aside and deal in earthly matters. Go, work. Deal with your damn town. You're the one who must figure out what it's made of. But who was Murky talking to? Murky talks to rocks and herbs. Murky was raised by step wolves. She's a wolf cub herself. Why would you ever take her words seriously? Yeah, kids deserve trust or bad things happen. I know from experience. I'm keeping her in frame deliberately. And noting that she and the changeling are on the screen at the same time. Look over by the fire on the left. And whoosh. Oh, sorry. Whoosh. Uh, whoosh. There we go. <laughs> I have an idea. I don't know if it's possible. It probably isn't. But... This is the changeling, no surprise. Watch my hands. The right knows not what the left does. The left knows not what the right does. The forepaw doesn't follow the hind paw. The midfoot, the forefoot. The lower hand, the secret one. The upper hand, the elegant one. What are you looking at? And you said you were no shapeshifter. Said you were good. I can do many things. Haven't I told you already? I have, twice I think. So don't complain now. Where's Murky? Walked away from here on her own two feet. Her friend came for her. When she learned who her friend was, I think she decided to flee while you were distracted. To protect you, maybe. So they're headed back. What friend? Go, Burah. Murky is beyond your help now. You still don't get it. You think with your fists. You don't understand life or anything about this disease. How could you protect anyone, ignorant as you are? Who are you? You're not Clara. It's like you've been changed. I'm the real one. She is the imposter. Give Murky back, you hear me? You... Alright, let's try this. Your Murky is still on her way. I can sense her. She might get stranded after all. These things happen. Let's test you then. What do you know of the sand pest? Tell me. People say it didn't start on its own, that there's some scheme behind it. Huh. <laughs> Alright, so you're not entirely hopeless. Would you like to understand? You wanted to see Murky's friend. That I can arrange. A 
see if I don't take the plague here I'm pretty sure what that means is that it will go after murky I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure I'm taking it instead of murky right the changeling said murky is beyond your help now Hmm. A life for a life, then? Yes, if you agree to this, your murky might live longer, and her friend will, from now on, address you directly. No middlemen, no interference. What say you, O oh brave ripper? Ah, okay. Deal. But leave murky alone, and never touch her again. Now we're infected. The plague has a voice, now I'm certain of it. Can it truly have a personality, a, personality, a, a mind, a will? So Murky's friend is the disease? What the hell? Who speaks in its voice? Who's making fun of me? And if it's alive, what does it want? To hell with it. Where's Murky? Okay, so I know Murky is okay, but nonetheless, let's go check on them. Um, also, I'm thinking, I could cure it right now, but let's listen to its voice for a little bit, shall we? Speak to me. This time I will actually listen to what you say. Most of the time I ignored it. stay infected, will I actually learn something from it? The voice or something. The thing is, I was infected for a while. I think for at least a day, maybe two days in my last playthrough, and I don't think it told me anything. But I don't know. Hell, maybe you need to stay infected for the whole rest of the game? <laughs> Who knows? I think Murky will just be right in here. Oh no, they're back at their train car, aren't they? Yeah, we gotta go back there. Oh, Sticky's in danger. Let's give him a prophylaxis. You'll be fine, buddy. Am I brewing anything? Oh yeah. Holy hell, am I? I'm debating whether I should stay infected or not. The thing is, I took a schmouter before. Remember earlier in the playthrough when I got infected inside of that house? I took a schmouter immediately when I had just about full health. And it took me down to a sliver of health. And I've also used schmouter in the past playthrough when I was at a sliver of health and I stayed at a sliver of health. So I think schmouter won't kill you, but it will always make your health go down to barely anything. Which means I'm not really in any great rush to do this. I might as well coast on my high health for now, right? Makes sense to me. You know, at least now I have enough health to womp some people in the streets. But if I took the Schmauter, then I wouldn't want to get into combat with anybody. Although I do have a bandage, but that's eh, not enough to feel comfortable. Hmm. Um... 
3 30 i'll probably still have enough time to go to the theater and do all that stuff as well let's uh oh i can't max that thing out can i because i don't have the scrap the little gear thing but if i had that then i can max out the olympic and upgrading my inventory i believe takes the military coat yes but i have both of the sewing boxes so as soon as i have the military coat then i can have a maxed out inventory Let's do some more brewing. Let's get it back to a full stash, uh, stack of metal. And make a couple zir pluses. I think that's good. Yeah, that's fine. Maybe I want to make a couple yasses. Let's do that. What is a yas again? I always forget. Blood and brown. Blood and brown. I'll just make the couple that I have right now. I have more herbs stored away. But I don't think there's any need to get them. Inventory cleaned up a bit. Let's grab all these things that I've brewed. And let's get the living blood going. I don't think there's any reason to keep it now. Let's get it going with a plus tincture. Actually, no, there's no reason to use a plus. I don't need it right right now. It's fine. And I've also got some organs in here. Might as well get those going. Heart and a yas. Kidney and a yas. And kidney and another yas. I should make more yasses now. What was it? Blood and brown. Grab some more water, too. God, I'm doing so well right now, aren't I? Well, on that note, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. Inventory's all sorted, ate some food. Basically ready to go out and try to go to the theater and the dot item shop and check on Murky and all that. Hopefully before the next day starts. And then I think I need to sleep. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.